Carol, she's a wonderful lady. I've grown up with the family of four brothers. I'm the third born of our family. We have grown up in a rural areas. Most of the time we've grown up with my mom because my father was working in Johannesburg. Morgan, actually I'm Morgan Matole. I am the third born, uh, coming from a family of four, raised by a Miss uh, Rachel Matole uh, with my three sisters in the village called Marobala Radikhali here in Polokwane. I've grown up from there in 1992. I met with God. I take a decision that I need to be born again so I can serve God with my life. In 1994 is then I met with my husband who is Morgan Matule. We got married in 2000. Since today, we are still living together. I met my wife many years ago. We were still youth. Somewhere in 1994, when I met her, uh, she came for the first time to church. And after the service, I just greeted her. But nothing happened then. But with time, I started to, uh, you know, develop love for her uh, until we. Got engaged, we got wedded, and uh, I must say uh, she has always been there and uh, a beautiful woman of mine. We ha we are blessed with three children. My first daughter, Kamuhelo Matole, my second born, Sawasan Kolofelo Matole, and the last one, the last born, Katlawa Matole. Uh, these are wonderful children to me and I love them all from the bottom of my heart, including my very own wife, whom I cannot do without her, you know. Yeah, I heard that people, they were doing life begins at 40, but to me, turning 40, really, I was so excited. I was just happy, having peaceful heart, just feeling that, oh, I'm turning 40. But what I realized is that uh, to be 40, it means now you're going to depend on yourself, your beauty, you take care of yourself, kids have grown up. So it's just the life of um, honey and milk. Like the Israelites when they were going into the wilderness for 40 years. So they worked for 40 years. So that means after 40 years, there was just a lot of joy in their lives. We indeed had a beautiful day. You know, there are times when, when you do something, you doubt. Uh, we had a lot of conversations about the whole thing. But uh, finally, what we have seen is that, indeed, it was a wonderful day. Uh, whatever she thought of came, came as she wished. And actually, even more than that, because the turn up of the people who came to support us was huge. We were not expecting that, but it happened that way. And uh, as for that birthday yesterday, I want to say to my wife, with all of my heart and all of my strength, I will want to say I love her. And I will continue to support her all the time, all the days of our lives together. You know, we were so blessed by everything that happened yesterday. The things that I wanted them on that day to be there. So I made sure that everything, whatever I've decided, whatever I was thinking of in my mind, that I want my party to be that way. By the grace of God, I managed to do that. And I was so happy. And even in the service, the thing that I liked, the presence of the Lord was there. People were happy. Everybody enjoyed the food. So everything was just well organized. Even the weather was very good. So I really thank God for all the, uh, the power and all the strength that he has given to me, to everybody, because there were people who were helping me to organize from the day one, from the 
dresses from the photo shoot until yesterday when we have made it after the party. So I was so happy because things went very well. Look, another thing uh, which came as a surprise, uh, I'm a businessman, and uh, but along the way, God called me to serve him into the ministry, which I refused for five years because uh, no one wants to become a pastor, but when God chooses you, you end up doing it. Now, what is happening is my son, we, okay, we have just, we just started a small church at the moment. It's a ministry which is growing with time by the grace of God. And my son, uh, I see that God really is, is turning him into becoming one because he speaks, he speaks like that every time. And you know, in, even in church, he keeps on saying, I'm a pastor. And uh, I've realized that I don't have to undermine that. So, so our church is very small. But yes, and also very organized, heart-to-heart -heart ministries with its own people, you see. So I'm grateful about him to, to love the Lord. The thing that I liked, the presence of the Lord was there. People were happy. Everybody enjoyed the food. So everything was just well organized. Even the weather was very good. So I really thank God for all the, uh, the power and all the strength that he have given to me, to everybody, because there were people who were helping me to organize from the day one, from the dresses, from the photo shoot, until yesterday when we have made it after the party. So I was so happy because things went very well. Indeed, God has been faithful. I pray and uh, that the Lord strengthens her. Forty is now our mid-age. We are now at a stage whereby, she's now at a stage whereby uh, maybe years that are left are not many than the one that she has lived. So, so, so I want to say to her, be that woman that I met, the woman who was there to build everything God has blessed us with. Without my wife, I can tell you now, the pastor yesterday was saying, if I was one minute late to propose love to her, someone was supposed to have taken her. So now, I'm so happy that she's my wife. I wish her all the blessings. I wish her all the best in life. I will support this woman. I'll continue to love this woman for as long as I live. You know, I'm praying to the Lord that he, ele he elevates her. He elevates her in everything, material, spiritually. May she grow from strength to strength. I love her very, very much. And uh, happy birthday to my wife once again. Uh, I love him so much. And he's a man that is always supporting me. Our children, which is Camarello, Kulufelo, and Katero. He's the man who's supporting us a lot taking care of us, loving us as a family. So what I can say to my husband is, thank you so much for all the efforts that we have been through together. And thank you so much for everything that you have done for me. The important thing just to love me. Uh, for me, the white color, when I've decided about it, is a bright to me. People, I need people to be bright, people to see the future. So that's why I choose the white and I also like white because white is bright, it means happy. Yes, thank you to Hi TV for visiting me at my house. Indeed, you are doing a beautiful job and I can recommend you to anybody. You know, I'm becoming your sales rep now. So, so I love what you do and uh, may you guys grow from strength to strength. May the Lord keep on blessing you. May the Lord make you the head and not the tail. May you be blessed in everything that you do. We are so grateful about your work indeed. God bless you.